today I want to talk about the most common reasons why people miss the net. So if you want to hit the net more often, you want to score more goals, then this video is for you. The biggest thing is that you become conscious of these mistakes or these bad habits and actually see yourself doing them and then you can correct them and you'll become a lot better shooter, you'll hit the net more often, you'll score more goals. First one is simply trying to hit the ball way too hard. Okay, you do not have to put a hole in the back of the net for it to count as a goal. And that's exactly what happens. You might hit a rocket of a shot, but if it's you're trying to kill it every single time, you're not gonna be consistent with your shooting, okay? If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Some of the best shots that I've ever hit in my life are not the ones I've tried to kill the hardest. They're the ones I've focused on just making good contact and having good technique. Especially if you're in close range, it's much better for you to pick your spot, put it down in the corner, just like that. Think about the messy, typical goal. Okay, that is much more reliable. You'll score way more often if you get in the habit of doing that. Now, I'm not saying you can't hit the ball hard. I'm just saying you don't have to kill it, okay? Because when you try to kick the ball way too hard, you lose your focus, you lose your control. Okay, so maybe just hit it about 80% and you're gonna be much more likely to get the ball on target. If you are going to hit it hard, make sure you get your body over it, okay? If I can get here and I can get my body positioning over the ball, really make sure that there's no way that ball is going over the net and I can make sure that my body is going towards the net, my follow through is going towards the net, then you can hit it as hard as you want. If that ball is running away from you and you're trying to nail it as hard as you can, you're way back here, what do you think is gonna happen, okay? That's what's gonna happen, because there's no control. Number one, you're leaning back. You're not getting over the ball enough, or at least central. And number two is the direction that your body faces when you hit the ball. So I talked about this in another video. If I come through the ball, and what's a right footer's tendency is to pull it to the left. I hit it and I end up like this with my body, okay? The ball is always going over there. For a left footer, a tendency is to pull it to the right. So I hit it and my body, ends up facing this way, okay? And that's over-exaggerated, but if you're always pulling it to one side or the other, think about where your body ends up, okay? So the second mistake is your body positioning. If you wanna improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. The third mistake is just lack of focus. If you wanna hit a good shot, you need to be focusing on everything that you can control. Most people, when they're in this situation, they're not even thinking, they're just panicking. Ah! And it ends up being a shot that they don't really wanna have. You know, you like gone on a run, you cut through three guys, played a one, two, you sprinted up the whole field, and now it's time to shoot and you have just no energy and you just kinda of, uh, swing at it, okay? It's all about focus. So especially when you're really tired, you need to somehow find that energy for that half a second to really focus on what you're doing. And what I mean by focus is focus on your technique, okay? Be composed, especially if you're in close areas and you have the time to pick a spot. Be composed, think about, okay, where I want it to go, how I'm going to get it there, and just produce that technique. Focus on that technique. All the things we talked about, body over the ball, nice fall through, make sure my body's going where I want it to go, okay? and just that mental focus. Make sure you get that ball on target. The last problem, the biggest mistake, people aren't hitting the net consistently enough is because they're not practicing enough. And that's the simple truth. All these tips, all these videos, they're great, but if you're not getting out to the field and practicing, you're gonna miss the net, especially when you're in high pressure situations. So you need to be practicing shooting in all these different situations with both feet, and you need to do it consistently. The truth is, most people wanna score goals. They wanna hit the net, but the only time they practice shooting is in their game on Sundays. They don't take advantage of every single day of the week. 
or you go to your practice and maybe your team does a shooting drill, but how many shots do you actually get? You only get a few shots. So if you want to be a goal scorer, you need to be getting hundreds of shots every single day, both feet, different situations. And if some of the bad habits that I illustrated or demonstrated in this video today are things that you do, become conscious of them and make sure you don't make the same mistakes again and again. Learn from your mistakes and you're going to become a better player, a better shooter, and a better goal scorer. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the Online Soccer Academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.